Wow. A great, really great start from Zhang Kai. Second game was incredibly tight, but Eugene Wong just showing his versatility and uh, ability to control matches. Comes through to deliver the first point for his team. Next up will be Kai's teammate, Liang Ji Shan, and he takes on Fang Yin Chi. Should be an interesting matchup indeed. Of course, while you wait for that, there are a couple of links in the description of this YouTube video. One is for the Walmart Light Up Black Friday event. And the other is for Tech Pong's Facebook page. And for those of you who haven't seen it yet, Tech Pong is a uh, innovative new racket sport. Some similarities to table tennis. The table is curved. So some very uh, interesting adaptations and bounces Still yet to try it out myself, but there's a couple of tables here in the convention center, so hopefully I'll get my chance before this tournament's over. <laughs> I'll play you. I'll play you a match. All right, that's a deal. Have some deal right little now. bit of experience. <laughs> <laughs> so, Liang Ji Shan, one of the leading domestic players that has been active in the US for the past five or six years. Travels to a lot of tournaments across the Eastern Seaboard and East Coast through New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, where he's based now. Picked up a lot of titles over the years at Westchester, Kerry Cup, Badger Open, tournaments throughout the Midwest. Very well known for his enormous forehand. Yeah. For anybody who loves watching table tennis, I think one of the spectacles of table tennis that I've seen in the U.S. was uh, Jishan playing against defense. <laughs> seen really some phenomenal stuff from him. And he's going up against Fang Yin Chi, who's representing digital multi-tools. Fang Yin Chi, a member of the second Chinese national team and a Chinese Super League player. Played a, uh, was quite active in the World Tour a couple of years ago, 2016, 2017. Landed some big wins against the likes of Stefan Fergal, Patrick Francisca. Wow. So definitely a player with a lot of skill to bring here to this tournament. Haven't had the time to see him play myself since I was out there doing my own thing, but <laughs> here it will be my opportunity to see the man in action. So Liang Jishan on the near side, left-hander in the blue shirt. He's worked a lot on developing his game in the past, uh, at least the past two years. Um, particularly before when we saw him, he was so forehand dominant and there was a lot of weakness in his backhand side, but definitely in, uh, in recent times, he started working more on being offensive and aggressive with his backhand also. Wow, beautiful shot. And I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of that. The level of skill of players who've reached the Chinese national team level is really something phenomenal. You would know that firsthand, Wally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> didn't, you, didn't you play? Was it Liang Jin Kun you yeah. played? That was a while ago. Yeah. That would have been, what, three years ago? Yeah, about three or four years three ago four I years played ago. him. And now the guy made the, what was it, the semifinals yeah, of the World Championships. Was. I was like, I played that guy. So a commanding 5-1 lead here for Fang.
Wow. Quite a tall player. Some good reach on his forehand side. And really great execution there of the backhand. Kind of like a slingshot, yeah. just adding to the ball. He's been very active on the serve receive too. I think that's uh, helped him get on his way here in the first game. Forced error there from Fung. Still holds an 8-4 lead here in this first game. Wow. I told you we would be seeing more of it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's incredible stuff. And again, just taking that ball wide out to the backhand. Very smooth technical game. Takes the first game 11-4. So Fung Yin Chi playing the role of the aggressor here. Didn't see any big forehands there from Liang Jishan and I think if, uh, if Fung has his way, that's probably going to continue saw a little bit more blocking from Jishan than right, right. we're used to seeing here in tournaments in the US. So now Jishan back on the bench there. With Chiang Kai. It must have been a tough week, a tough weekend for these guys playing in a three man team. Yeah. <laughs> Got to play every match. Sometimes that's the best way to do it, though. Maybe for them, definitely not for me. <laughs> Heavy serve return there from Jishan. Takes the first two points against the serve. It's the best way to start a game with your opponent serving. Wow! And there goes that there forehand. There we go. There goes that Jishan forehand right down the line. It's just a rag doll. <laughs> it's like a shark attack. And Fang immediately reacts to that by tightening everything up, shutting down the shop. Wow. wow, big forehand followed by beautiful backhand block. Wow, and that is an ace. That's definitely, and that's a that's an <laughs> ace. <laughs> the look on Jishan's face is priceless. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, the change up from Fang Yun Chi. So steady on the first three balls and then out of nowhere. Goes for the big forehand. Steps it up. And Ji Shan catches Fang Yun Chi in the elbow. He's struggling a little bit here to get his timing right. Missed a couple of forehand opportunities. And wow. Yang Jishan, I think, doing a really good job of just letting that ball drift slightly over the end of the table. And he takes an 8-3 lead. Big turnaround here from Yang Jishan. is the big opportunity. Wow. It's a bit of a textbook strategy against Jishan. If you can control the first forehand from his forehand side and get it back across to his backhand, generally plays a little bit softer. Beautiful serve right up the middle. So Fun closes to within two. Jishan still with two serves. Is a big forehand. Great body weight transfer there. Really superb technique. Looks like he'll get a new ball from the umpire after that ball came off the top edge of Jishan. So Liang with one more serve here. Wow. And goes for the big forehand counter. That's one way to increase the lead. Very bold statement from Liang Jishan. That one's off the top of the net. Giving Yi Chi Feng the point. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful the, backhand. The third time that he's been <laughs> he made that shot, away right? from that ball <laughs> on his backhand. The amount of like snap in his wrist to get that ball back over is crazy. And Jishan starting to create those opportunities yep. to play his forehand. Made a huge difference in the scoreline here. He has to be very careful with letting Jishan play that forehand. Because if Jishan's forehand gets warm, it can be... Mm. Very dangerous for him. Oh. And Ten all, tie game. Really quick, compact counter there from Fung. Oh. 
down, puts it heavy and deep to the backhand. Opens up a game point here. And a little break off the net. But the direction towards the backhand corner was the right one for Fung. Exactly. Beautiful block by Jishan, keeping Fan off balance. Yeah, he could see Fung moving back towards his backhand corner. Saw the opportunity to play out to the forehand again. Wow. And again, that heavy push to the backhand. Sometimes it's the simple things that right. make the biggest difference. It's often a... Uh, a shot that's underestimated. You just see the angle he puts on that ball. So from losing the first game 11-4 to winning the second 13-11. Some big shifts here from Liang Jishan. See him back on the bench with Zhang Kai. So another sweeping backhand there from Fang Yinchi. Yeah, it looks like that just put the edge there. Not wasting any time here in this third game as he wins the first three points. Two against serve. Wow. Certainly looks like he's ready to step up the intensity. Yeah, I was just going to say that. I think now we're going to see a totally different game than what he's been playing. Wow. <laughs> Jishan just stands there waiting for it. That was a clean break from Jishan. Gets him out off the corner. Great backhand over the ball. I'm doing well to deal with that heavy backspin ball to the backhand now. It's giving himself a little bit more time. And he's opened up a 7-1 lead. Oh. Combination of shots fast. Yeah. Two, 
I mean, it's really hard when everything you're trying to do is not working and nothing is working right now. That worked. Yeah, <laughs> as soon as I said it. <laughs> Wow. comes back with an 11-3 game goes back to the uh, the rhythm of the first game here definitely more focused on taking the initiative making sure he's the one to attack first and you see the huge difference with that right. in that you just don't see Jishan attacking once once Fung start, decides that he's going to shut things down and that it's like he goes out onto the table and goes, right, this game, I can't let him attack. Right. I, whatever right. I do, it, it will be with a focus of not letting him attack. I'm going to attack first. And he goes out there and does it, and it works. Yeah. And Jishan does not get the opportunity to attack. And you can see the difference in the score lines between when that happens and when it doesn't. So the pressure falls back now on Liang Jishan as to whether or not he can create opportunities against a player of this caliber to allow himself to start attacking again or to start utilizing his forehand again. Whoa. already like Fung's taking the early initiative everything so far a display of very strong technique from the Chinese player wow very beautiful pick up there for the half long serve Very beautiful forehands by Yin Chi Fang. Super control from Jishan, but just gave away too many options. Blistering forehand to finish the point. You know, you can do one or two, but by the third one, you got to be looking to take that attack yeah. away. <laughs> Plays that ball. Jishan swings back to within two. Oh, down by one. We could be seeing a tie game right here. Forehand comes back into play. There you 
big swing there from Liang Jishan. Ties things up at six points each. And Jishan takes the lead, seven to six. going in heavy on that one. And Fang Ying Chi not going to have too much luck trying to counter the forehand of Nang Jishan. Kind of drives that inside out ball down onto the table. Very effective shot against people trying to counter. Wow. And beautiful, this time opens with the backhand. backhand. So Liang Jishan, two point lead. I mean, now I see in these last few points, Liang Jishan is definitely playing a little bit more confident, keeping the ball short, yeah. trying to stop. Yin Chi from the attack, and then him taking the attack. Another big backhand from Jishan. Fang Yin Chi heading back with the counter loop. Gets the easy opening. Nine all. Jishan's, if he wants to be, if he wants to backhand flip those serves, he's going to have to put a bit more action on the ball, I think. And big backhand. Certainly, he's managed to adapt well to that long backspin ball. It really looks like he's using the speed from that ball to complement his shot. And the Digital Multi-Tools team. And if Jishan wants to stay in this game, he's definitely going to need to take this attack. Yeah. He, he cannot push the ball long. He, he needs to play the ball short and take this attack and try to win this point. I mean, that's the only way right here. Yeah, I mean, the, the digital multi-tool are within one point here of taking a 2-0 lead. And I think Jishan has a legitimate chance here to level this match up. He's calling the timeout now, 9-10 down. It's a bit of a risky timeout. Hopefully his teammates have some sound advice for him here. Finishes the